Hello, this is Andrew here from Toucan Internet, and this video is to give you a sneak peek into the core features behind the ModX Revolution content management system. So if we take a little look at the back-end control panel, this is what it looks like to drive and manage your website. So what you can see here is, alongside the left, you've got a very logical and easy to understand tree of resources. Now what's great about this tree of resources is um, even though things are folders, they're actually a page. So if you were to click on any of these items, so we're currently on content managed websites, you can see you've got all the SEO, so search engine optimization related content up here that's easily editable and controllable. You've then got content down here, which you can just edit with a WYSIWYG editor. You can include images, browse for files, um, it's quite a straightforward and easy, an easy system to get to grips with. But what's also quite useful about it is the navigation of the page directly mimics where your folders and files are. And similar to when you would drag around files and folders in Windows, if you want to reorder your navigation, it's just a simple case of dragging and dropping, like so. It's really, really quite simple. see. So the great thing about ModX is that there is a wide range of plugins and content. So if we go to package management and when we set up a ModX installation one of the first things we will do is install modules and plugins that we think are best for your site. Um, so you can see here a range of modules and plugins we've currently got installed. These come from a standard ModX repository but we then customize them. So what that means is you've got the stability of a well a well-renowned plugin within that's been you know measured and created by the community but then we have our own adaptations on it and ModX has hundreds and hundreds of plugins um, it really is quite good but the, you know the, what's also really good about ModX is you can have a, a number of themes so let's say we've got our let's have a look at our um, services page and let's have another look at content managed websites Every theme has the ability to have extra elements for it, extra variables that you may put in place. And these inputs here are entirely dependent upon what theme you've selected. So when you create a document, you can see it's got users template here. There's a whole range of different themes to choose from that we will configure. Um, and depending upon which theme you choose depends upon which input areas you've got. What this means is it's very very logical and easy to understand where your content from a page sits because you simply go to a document you look for the area you want to edit here if it's not here it's probably going to be in template variables so you can upload images change them here it really is quite straightforward so um, that's a that's a really brief and quick overview of the file structure there's also blogging so if you if you look into the blog section of the page you've got the ability to have articles, dated articles um, within a site and this is this is an extension of a module that's delivered within ModX. There really is some flexible things that go on here and there are certain extensions as well so you know like you've got notifications, automatic posting to Twitter that can be set up and configured. It really is a really flexible and powerful content management system that can be used on a wide range of websites. One of the other benefits of ModX that I haven't described here is it's very, very extendable. So nearly everything, including the core of ModX itself, is able to be adapted and extended. Which means if you do have a unique requirement that you'd like to implement that isn't already available in a module, it's possible for us to write modules or write snippets of code even that aren't full modules to achieve what you want to achieve. So it's the best of both worlds. It's a content management system for allow you to manage your content and pages but it's also a little bit of a content management framework which allows for ongoing development as and when bespoke requirements come in. So I hope that's been helpful and informative. Um, I hope that it gives you a good understanding of roughly how the ModX CMS works. I've clearly not gone into all the details but yeah so that's Toucan Internet, Andrew Ward speaking, your source for ModX web development projects.